Hi everyone, this is a special video. I don't usually make videos right after another video. I posted a video yesterday, so this is extremely rare for me to do this, but I felt I just had to make this video. But I do ask that you watch the other video that I made before you watch this one. So I'm going to post a link in the annotations right here, or you can go back to my main page and click on it. It's called The End of the World, May 21st. 2011, in which I respond to this whole thing going around that says that Judgment Day is May 21st, 2011, and I go about giving reasons as to why I do not believe that Judgment Day is May 21st, 2011. Now, in that very video, I mentioned that Israel was being consistently mentioned in the news and that the Bible predicts that in the end times, Israel would be the center of world attention and bring about the final war that will bring about Armageddon and the second coming of Jesus Christ. So I wanted to direct your attention, after you've watched that video, I wanted to direct your attention to a CNN article that just came out today. The video I made yesterday on the 18th, well today is now the 19th, so check this out. CNN says that atheists are now reacting to the whole May 21st thing. And right above it, we have Obama, the president, reacting to the uh, Philistine, Israeli, Palestinian, sorry, the Palestinian Israeli conflict um, and talking about the borders and dividing up the land and all that sort of thing. So I just wanted to first comment on the irony of the fact that here we have something about atheism on CNN and yet right above it we have the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. I want to read from Joel. Joel chapter 3. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people and heritage Israel, because they have scattered them among the nations and have divided up the land and have cast lots for my people and have traded boy for a prostitute and have sold a girl for wine and have drunk it. What are you to me, O Tyre and Sidon and all the regions of Philistia? Philistia, Palestine. So the Bible predicted 2,000 years ago that the end would be a time when Israel was divided by the people called Philistia, which is what the people now call themselves Palestinians. The Bible said this 2,000 years ago, and here we have today, I mentioned that the Bible predicts that Jerusalem will be a cup of trembling and that the very center of world attention would be on Israel. It says all nations will gather one day against Israel to do battle, and God will be bringing the nations there to, for, to judge them. These things are now coming to pass. I mean, I don't know how you can be an atheist when you're seeing these things come to pass. Israel, now back in the land, their land divided against the very people that God predicted the, the, the Palestinians, the Philistines. This is exactly what the Bible's been saying for 2,000 years. Now, kindly appreciate that Israel was not a nation for 2,000 years. And the Bible said one day God would restore Israel, would restore the, fo the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, that he would gather his people back, and that when he gathered them back, the people would divide the land, and that there would be this conflict between the Palestinians. This was predicted 2,000 years ago. And here we are living today, we're seeing Israel in the news, front page, just as I said yesterday, that we're seeing it consistently here, CNN, front page. We're seeing people talking about the judgment God is bringing to worldwide attention what's going on here. And I don't know how in your right mind you can be an atheist with all this going on. You literally have to plug your ears and close your eyes. And just wanted to make this video and show you guys uh, just how exciting these times are to be seeing this happening live. We are literally seeing the unfolding of Bible prophecy. We are living in extremely exciting times. For a video that will totally blow your mind, I'm going to post a link right here called uh, Israel and Armageddon. You've got to watch this video, and I think it'll explain pretty much everything to you. It'll go through all the Bible passages that predict the end times, and you're about to see these things that the Bible foretold unfold in our lifetime. It's very exciting. Check out that video.